Hi, this is me Janvi and you are watching me on our YouTube channel Parts Pop-Up Studio. In this channel, we upload videos about life in Finland. We also make informative videos about studying, working and living in Finland. If you find anything that we create interesting, please subscribe to the channel. This autumn, many universities have opened their admissions for international students for spring intake next year. That means soon you may also be applying for a residence permit on the basis of studies. In today's video, I'll talk about factors that may lead to rejection of a visa or a residence permit application. While I talk specifically about Finland, this applies to all kinds of visa application all around the world. Please take note of the things that I discuss here so that you get a positive decision on your application. So let's get started. The first reason that may lead to your visa rejection is if your motive is questionable or suspicious. If the immigration officer suspects your motive or purpose of visit to the country in question. Be it a study permit, work permit or permit based on family ties, if you fail to convince the immigration officer that your motive of visit is nothing else than to study, work or to be with a family member, your permit might be rejected. Therefore, be careful when you prepare your supporting documents as well as while answering the questions asked by the immigration officer. So what are the factors that make the officer suspicious about your motive? Let's discuss in detail. Let's look at the student permit first. If you have a long gap between your studies or if you are applying for a different field of study, they will ask you about this. For Finland, the gap between studies and change of study field does not matter a lot as long as you give convincing reasons and answer explaining the gap and the change in studies. But you will have to have genuine convincing answers to those questions. If you do not have enough knowledge about the degree program, university, city and country you are applying to, then this may give negative impression about you being a genuine student. If your answers aren't justifiable, coherent and convincing, they might suspect that your motive isn't probably to study in the country but just move there for some other purpose like jobs. If you are applying for a work permit, in addition to a valid work contract, you must have all the necessary information about your job, your salary, working hours, address of the workplace, workstation, job duties and all. Similarly, if you are applying to be with your spouse, you must have an ongoing relation with your spouse and that you will continue to live as a spouse in the country in question too. The officers will ask you all sorts of questions from different angles to find out your motive and purpose of visit. If you fail to convince them, then the answer might be sorry. Number 2. Insufficient funds. You are required to have a certain amount of money in your bank account when you are applying for a residence permit or a visa to move abroad. That is to ensure your cost of living or expenses in the country you will be moving to. If you cannot show the required amount, you will not be granted a visa or a permit. For Finland, a student is required to have 6,720 euros per year in addition to their tuition fees in their bank account. Similarly, for a spouse permit, the requirement is 8,400 euros per year. If you do not have sufficient funds in your bank, then your visa or residence permit will be rejected. Number 3. Lack of documents regarding funds. Appropriate documents that show the origin of your funds or the evidence where funds come from are equally important as the fund itself. These documents are usually bank statements, salary slips, work contract paper, papers related to a business, rental agreement and income from agricultural products. These documents are mandatory supplements for residence permit application for Finland. If you fail to show sufficient documents showing the origin of your funds, your visa is denied. Number 4. Forged documents. If they find or suspect that your documents are fraudulent or forged, then there is a high chance of your visa being rejected. This includes all the documents or evidence you submit including your identification, education, work certificates, medical reports to documents related to funds. So, you need to be extra careful with the authenticity of the documents and also be careful with the names, spellings, dates and other important details in the documents. Not only this, you must pay attention to the content of the document and what or how you answer the questions are asked in the interview. The data you provide should not be conflicting in nature. 
it must be coherent. If your documents contain conflicting details, they might suspect that your documents are forged or false and this may lead to your visa rejection. Number 5. Criminal records or criminal background While applying for a visa or a residence permit, you must either submit your records from the police or give consent to the immigration for obtaining all your records if it is necessary. Besides, you will need to give your biometrics or fingerprints. If the immigration officer finds out that you have a history of misconduct or crime or they suspect that you are a possible risk or threat to their country, then your visa is rejected. Number 6. Last but not least, not meeting general requirements, for example, photo guidelines or insurance plan. Before you submit a visa or a residence permit application, you must check all requirements carefully. If you fail to meet the general requirement of the application, then your visa might be rejected. This may be, for example, if you do not meet the photo guidelines or you do not have a proper health insurance plan or an itinerary or an arrangement of accommodation. So, here I discussed about the most possible reasons that may lead to the rejection of your visa or residence permit application. However, in the case of Finnish immigration, there is one good thing that you can always supplement your missing documents when your application is being processed. If the immigration officers find that some documents are missing or if they need any explanation from you, then they will write to you and offer you a deadline of about 15 days during which you can always submit the explanation as well as the missing documents. In the worst case, if your visa or a residence permit is rejected, then you will have a chance to appeal against the decision in the administrative court. The immigration itself will notify you everything about the appeal process along with the decision of the application. I've heard of many cases where the applicants have got positive decision after the appeal. I hope the video was useful. Please pay attention to all the details that I have mentioned in the video when you apply for your residence permit application or a visa application. I wish you all the very best with your application process. Please subscribe to our channel Pass Pop-Up Studio if you haven't done that yet. I'll see you in a new video. Till then, take care.